We are in Miscillian Harbor. It's one of the most important sites in Delaware Bay for migratory shorebirds. My name is Kevin Kalis and I'm a wildlife biologist. Looking around, just a quick estimate, um, we have approximately 5,000 red knot here right now, about 5,000 really turned stone, looking at 20,000 dunlin, and so the numbers are pretty impressive for such a small area like this. Red knots are feeding here, they have a very reddish breast and throat, and grayish back and wings. Red knots have declined approximately 80 to 90 percent in the last a little over 20 years. They're currently considered a candidate species under the Endangered Species Act, and so we are really working hard to try to understand their populations. We have a wintering population in the southern tip of South America in a place called Sierra del Fuego, and there's also a northern wintering population um, from northern Brazil um, to the southeast U.S. It's Sierra del Fuego population that makes incredibly long flights of three to 5,000 miles in, in one flight to arrive at key stopover lake locations between their wintering grounds and their nesting grounds in the high Arctic. And Delaware Bay is that last, you know, really critical, important stopover point for them. So when they get here, they're, they weigh sometimes as low as 90 grams, and they're looking to put double their body weight uh, in the course of 10 to 14 days to reach 180 grams by the end of May. So they come here completely emaciated, really need to work hard to put on a lot of weight, and horseshoe crab eggs are the best food source out there for them. And what's so important and so critical is the timing of the migration to coincide with the horseshoe crab spawning period. Horseshoe crabs in Delaware Bay spawn at very high densities and and lay a tremendous number of eggs that become available to shorebirds for them to eat. This is the reason why the birds are coming. These little green eggs are mean everything to um, long distance migratory shorebirds, mean everything to the health and ecology of Delaware Bay. And this is what we're trying to protect and conserve. The thought is that the vast majority of red knots of the rufous subspecies uh, migrate through Delaware Bay. Our current estimate is 25 to 30,000 red knots will come through Delaware Bay on any given year. The drop in red knot numbers from their highs is uh, attributable to the lack of horseshoe crab eggs uh, in Delaware Bay, particularly in the earlier um, part of the 2000s. Horseshoe crabs are also commercially harvested, supply bait for conch and eel fishermen. Conch and eel have been found to be very attracted to horseshoe crabs. But once we initiated the regulations to control harvests, to limit the harvests in the late 90s, that was a major step towards helping to recover the population of horseshoe crabs in Delaware Bay. It's just in the last year or two that we are seeing the, the signs of the, those first efforts. Last year, Miss Pillion Harbor, on the, during the peak in crab spawning, surpassed a million eggs per meter squared, which is an enormous amount of eggs. 